Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Return to Monkey Island. So, I might actually have a little go using the in-game hint system. Let's see what we can do about the spicy pepper that we need and uh, the impressing iron thingamabob. Well, I know, I know those. I know how I get those. Sign Rose, then. Okay. Let's leave that there. But I want to find out about the pepper thing, so. Uh, maybe that's under Flambe's vote. Okay. Alright, actually, maybe, maybe this would do it. Now this is like the cannon. Um, maybe one of the torches around? If it is this, it's going to be It's hardly any warmer now. Any warmer. Hardly any warmer now. Hardly any warmer now. I think that's the right idea. We haven't got it to light yet, though. Give it a scruffles. <laughs> no, scruffles is not amused. Okay, my other idea was this thing. Well, that seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Stuff that Chuck has to approve anyway. Ah. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear. That means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. So that's the right idea. Hardly any warmer now. How do I get it really warm? The other things I can think of the um Candles that were in the Chuck's cabin. So I'm gonna have to. Have to get ready for cannon firing. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. 
Listen here, you lazy pack of squealing bilge rats. I have reason to believe that someone has been misusing the ship's bell. <laughs> if a ship is going to function properly, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Hardly any warmer now. Hardly any warmer now. Hardly any warmer now. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Do this bicycle for the left. I'm gonna have to look at him. So you use those candles. In conclusion, shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All right, same time tomorrow then. Dismissed. like limbs, apparently. That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Ready for cannon firing. What do I have to do? <laughs> oh, okay. Right. I see. Okay, that's a little bit obscure, I think. This should make it good and scorchy. Good. Okay, well that should be us finishing off the crew stuff. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet, poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. Eh, there's one bite missing. I, um, well... Much respect, Swabby. I'm in your debt. I hate being in debt, so... Uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. All right, we'll give this to Apple Bob, don't we, to cheer him up. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. I think I've got everyone's support now. 
Time to call for another vote. Yep. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? <laughs> Go ring the bell yourself. One bell. Voting hour. Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island. Almost. It was time to send Murray back to Madison. Somehow. Well, I have one idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Murray. I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. Hi, Murray. Underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <coughs> <coughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Yeah. Hey. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. Greenwood. <laughs> Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. I'm going to skewer you like a pig on a spit. You do fight more like a cook than a sword. Okay, decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all swagger and no dagger. I've got plenty of dagger. Blast. Uh. Hey, cheating. I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one. Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Hi, <laughs> Freepwood. Ah! <laughs> Monkey on in six minutes. Good thing I can still hold my breath for ten minutes. More or less. Is it more or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for ten minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time I heard you say twelve. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do ten minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Okay. <laughs> Monkey Island, six minute walk. Mm. 
Ooh, trivia card. Probably got time to play that. How many fish are in the school underneath the chuck ships when it's anchored? What? Eleven? <laughs> okay, that was a complete guess. How am I supposed to know that? Oh, there's another one. Which of these is not an island in Monkey Island 2? Reef Island. There we go. See, the games I know better. I'm better at these questions. Um, I do need to hurry along a little bit. Ah, there we are. <laughs> at last! Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Red berry bush. Okay. Aw, it's a heart with L and E someone romantically carved into the tree. <laughs> LeChuck and Elaine, I expect. Into the jungle. Is that Murray? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. <laughs> okay, well, that looks rather like the red berry bush, doesn't it? Check out the shipwreck first. Oh, another skull. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll spooky. keep this for Halloween. <laughs> uh, rocks. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Ooh, trivia card. How long does it take to walk to Monkey Island? Well, that would be the six minutes we've just <laughs> Not easy, that one. Well, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. It says the sea monkey. Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Wow, the sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Uh, either that or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. Much oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. Back into the jungle. Get the big monkey head. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. Mm. Murray? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. It's them. I better just stay back and eavesdrop. Can't you just break the security? Taught you a good at this stuff. Keep talking and you'll find out how good I am. Any place, anywhere, any place. <laughs> Why aren't we waiting in the jungle? Because I need to finish setting up the ritual here. You can go ahead if you want to. And leave you two to plan behind me back. Me don't think so. Three. Though truly it is I, Murray, and I alone who possess the cunning necessary to achieve victory. You keep out of it or I'm hiding your jawbone again. How come we have to do this right here? It's the best power spot on the island. Place gives me the creeps. And I don't creep easily. Okay, well, let's leave that for now. Where's that? Oh, is there a trivia card somewhere there? Yeah. Look at that one. Flowers by the bench are. What bench? Oh, 
it is. Okay. <laughs> Very well. Very well. I absolutely knew the answer to that. I wasn't just guessing. All right. Well, let's. Uh, well, let's just gazing at the volcano. Volcano Beach. See the view. Right, yeah. We'll do these other things first in case we find things here to kind of help us. Skull. It's a weird looking skull. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. No, oh, no, I don't want to return to the ship. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. on this beach doesn't look like it. Yeah, we'll head up to the lookout. Wow. Trivia card. Oh, that's, uh, that's the hint book. What type of cake is not it? It's carrot cake. See, I did know that. Okay, I'll have one. This is where I accidentally fell years ago when the ledge collapsed. Good times. All right, red berry bush. Let's go there. Oh, okay, so this is the big hand. I think that's mentioned in the instructions, isn't it? Follow the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I might find next. Uh, chicken. Well, I would have carved a pulley in the middle, but that's just me. Beehive, birdhouse, helpful sign. What does the map say? Sneak past the bees and heed the sign. amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. I'll just grab this. What could possibly go wrong? Oh! That's not LeChuck. confused about who you're double-crossing. Is it everybody? This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets, but I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! What was that you said about LeChuck's secrets? Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? Why on earth would you care about any of that? Oh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. <sighs> As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. He's here on the island. Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. I swallowed a lot. Maybe wait a half hour? <laughs> or I poke a hole in you and it squirts out right away. We could search his ship for information while he's gone? We thought of that, but the ship's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. 
Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer and I won't make it again, in or out. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey ahead if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. to be anything to do here, so let's just go into the jungle. Okay, well, we're going to need to return to the ship now, aren't we? Hmm. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. <laughs> is there anything over here that might be interesting? There's another skull. I'm sensing pure evil here. More than what's reasonable for an ordinary sea creature. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's climb up the anchor chain then. Welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Oh, no! Okay, well, we don't have the uh, disguise anymore. Let's try that again, but we'll go through the porthole this time. Let's be a bit sneakier. They've sealed it shut. Oh. So many fond, greasy memories. He's still drowning him down with just me thoughts. Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. No, wait. Don't hold me joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does the screaming of his enemies count? I doubt it. Then no. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it's... It, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Mm. How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job, breaking in a new swab. Uh, that's not bad. Lob. Fob, gob, oh, gob, gob could work. Anyway, let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. And here I am. The new swab you mentioned, what was he like? Rising star, diamond in the rough? A useless plank. I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Also, he come down here, stole a knife I was keeping <laughs> in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. <laughs> maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, I am stuck in a few places. 
for instance, what rhymes with worms? Pachyderms. Oh yeah, that could work. Hmm. All right then, I also need an idea for something that grows. Resentment. I think that fits. <laughs> How about a rhyme for black? Orange. Orange. Very avant-garde. <laughs> I would never have dared, but you're giving me courage. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. Can we do anything with him? I don't know. I don't know for what purpose either. Let's leave him there. So how am I going to get on this ship then? The porthole. I'm supposed to try using my knife on it again. And I can already tell I'm not going to be able to do that. That one's stuck. I'll try the railing again, but if they're still there, we're just going to get thrown back in the sea, aren't we? Threepwood! Not so sneaky without your magic disguise, are you? Nice collection of colored glass bottles. Threepwood! I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. I wonder if this arm bone has anything to do with anything. Why not? How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. <laughs> but I'll have my revenge on all of them. Especially that withered zombie man on LeChuck's crew. I'm just going to try and put these skulls on. I mean, I seem to have as many skulls as there are stakes here. Thank you. 
Everyone's vibrating up to go. 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 Is that go. Or something? Go. Go. E. No, I don't think so. E. Go. Okay. Um, have they got any ideas? We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Yeah, I ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news! We get to kill him after all. No, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Okay. I'll see what I can come up with. See ya, partner. Let's see if we can get that book of poetry. At least we didn't have to climb up the anchor again. <laughs> Thinking thoughts I really ought not. Hey, what do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? Well, so you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Hey, what do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? Well, mm. so you can steal them. Okay. So something we can give him. Would you like the horse armor? Ooh, what about this? I've got a friend who edits a paper. He might be interested in your poetry. That, that'd that be fantastic. But I'm a little inconvenienced at the moment. You know, stuck on the rudder and all that. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, show my work to your editor friend? I'd be happy to do that. And, uh, uh, let's just keep this a secret between us, if you don't mind. Hmm? Mum's the word until they're announced. Right, so that should do it. Partner. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Bloated worms like pachyderms. <laughs> I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect. Qui dolorum ipsum. Quia dolor sitamet. Ooh. Nisi utali qui vexia comedo consequat. Exceptor sin doge cat, quipetat non proident. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, we'll do. Alrighty. See ya, okay, time partner. To get back on the ship. This can't be right. <laughs> Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. <laughs> Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Wally! <laughs> oh, poor Wally. All right, so let's go back to the ship. All right, that's probably a good point to uh, activate our disguise. Bloated worms like pachyderms. Ideas fill my head. 
the poems flow as resentment grows, creatively undead. Okay. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. I'm still feeling the sting of your knife. I got the knife back, so you let me know if the feeling fades. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. I promise I'll give it my utmost attention. I won't let you down. What? Nothing. You just seem different. Don't let anybody on board or I'll stab you again. Okay, so we've got a few things to find out here. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. <laughs> I have no idea how he keeps track. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea, but he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does, seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. See ya. Let's pop up to the crow's nest in case uh, Flambe knows anything. I wouldn't want to wake him up. It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. I'm really enjoying this new diary that Cutthroat Kelly got me. I'm impressed that they would bestow this gift on me, given I was the one that cut their throat. I'm going to write in it every day. June 5th. It's the 5th of June. Time flies when you're having fun, sailing, pillaging, terrorizing, etc. Crazy times tonight. Crew had a what is your most embarrassing guy brush story? Game of charades around the big pot. Just across the 19th parallel on our way to terrorize Bermuda, ran into a pesky custom ship. Easy to outrun and lob voodoo cannonballs at. Bundled up and went on the deck to do some more star charts. Got a good look at the grog muck. Right at Skull Bay and dropped anchor. Putra is going to smoke mac and cheese for dinner. If I didn't know better, I'd say she was underperforming on purpose. And scuttled a mail ship's day. Good fun. The sea was covered with tatters of holiday gift wrapping that looked like an exploded clown. <laughs> Brought back fond memories, but I seem to have forgotten the name of the clown. Note to self do more memory exercises. Trying out a new catchphrase Brandish the Seven Timbers. This is much better than my last one. Use the main sail, looks too nice. I'm sending a deckhand up to rip it and shred it so it has more of an evil feel. New crew keeps asking why I hate Guybrush Threepwood, Guybrush Threepwood so much. I can't point to one thing with Guybrush. It's an endless list of little annoying things with him. Guybrush keeps popping into my life when I least expect it. I rue the day when I first went up against him. Years ago after he ruined the wedding to my true love, I decided to get myself a new catchphrase for Christmas. Plunder the Seven Timbers. Ho ho ho. Got to mention crew threw me a birthday party the day after we got to Skull Bay. I keel hauled them all. <laughs> P.S. Keel needed cleaning anyway. Tell me more about why I hate Guybrush. He seems to think we're nemeses. Mortal enemies locked in a forever combat. Truth is, I could care less about him. It's like the mosquito thinking we're nemeses when the mosquito is just an annoying insect to be crushed. Iron Rose called my catchphrase tired this morning. Lashed to the bowsprit, but have decided to give By My Bristling Beard a try. A long conversation with Rose as we roasted s'mores over burning bodies on the beach of Terror Island. I love that place. Her point of view is that the more I dismiss Guybrush as a simple irritant, the more it's obvious that he and I are truly nemesis. 
making a list of all the reasons they hate Guybrush 3. Stupid name. Who names their kid Guybrush? Thinks he's a better he's a mighty pirate when he's neither. Always trying to hunt for the same treasure I am. Stole a lane from me. He gets much better press than I do. <laughs> Only interested in the glamour of piracy. I walk the walk, he just talks. My ship is a lot better than his. Oh Elaine, all these long years I still yearn for the warmth of your embrace. Damn Guybrush, the day will come and the end of the is foretold. I do for a new catchphrase, brandish the seven bilges. Not sure about this one yet, I'll have to sleep on it before I put it into action. Uh, okay, so there's, there's quite a lot to this. Let's flick through to the most recent day, I suppose. I decided to revise my catchphrase to Threepwood's Bane. Short and sweet, I like it. Problem with new catchphrase, hearing Threepwood's name too often. I'm going back to the one I had on the 17th. Crocodile meat! Somehow I knew you'd make it back! Can I fix you something to eat? I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island, looking for the big secret. What will you cook for LeChuck to celebrate finding the secret? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash? You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You called me chef? In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. I don't know what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. Uh, what was it you wanted to know about? The Chuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. Do you happen to know LeChuck's theme song? I don't know. Flair's the composer. I think she's on deck duty right now. No. I mean, yes. Uh, sure she is. Well, I've got work to do. Right. Okay, so let's Flair about the theme tune. What are you working on? The score for LeChuck's theme. Nothing you'd be interested in. Get back to your post. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Could I... I'd better not lose the disguise while I'm still on the ship. Music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Hmm. They boarded it shut. Nothing to do down here, is there? All right. How can I get her to give up the? I had an idea that maybe I'll take my disguise off while I'm on the ship, and she'll chase me off. Maybe I can get it wherever she left it. 
I better not lose the disguise while I'm still on the ship. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. I'd still like to hear LeChuck's theme song. Well, like I said, I think he was having one comp. Oh, yeah. See ya. Captain LeChuck isn't on board. We get a reprieve from yelling. What about ring at once? One bell! Voting hour! What's going on? I don't like being interrupted. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Oh. Okay, I'm hoping that maybe the score is here. Aha. It's the theme music Flair was working on. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Yoink. Well, I'm not waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. Waste of time. Hope my soup didn't burn. All right. <laughs> right. Okay, the disguise came off automatically. I was, I was going to recite the poem. Head. Hey, partner. Look what I found. LeChuck's very own diary. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Okay, so let's have a look at the music then. Do, do, me. Do, do, me, sol. Fa, fa, re. Do, do, me, sol. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Labores nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Brandish. The seven. Bilges. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Eat it? I thought I just had to know what it was. No. When we first talked about this, I said we have to eat it. You didn't bring any? Uh, no. Ugh, fine. Go and get some of whatever it is and we'll try it again. Oh, I forgot about that. Come back soon, partner. Did you tell us that? Can't remember. They may have done. Let's go back to the ship. Bloated worms like pachyderms. All right, let's go out there to the chef. The cook. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Well, I've got work to do. Right. Hmm, okay, so we need some tentacles. Always more to do, isn't there? Alright. There was that. There's that squid over here. Oh, it's gone. Is it gone? 
Oh, I saw something on the beach last time I was there. I just want to take the thing off manually. I want to know what his... Uh... No, that's not that. My soul is black. My skin is orange. The stench is growing worse. I miss the me I used to be before the zombies curse. Hmm. Yeah, there's something over here. I'm not even a fan of live squid. Can we use our knife? Is one enough? I'd rather leave the rest for nature to clean up. Loaded worms like pachyderms. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with this? That's a nice one. Have it for you in a jiff. That's it? Sometimes simple is best. I'd rather not, honestly. <laughs> right. This time. Ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. Just remind myself what it is. Do do me sol ba fa re. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Brandish. The seven. Bilges. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Do I have to? Yes. Can't someone else do it? No. Oof. Okay. Lines on it. It's working. Who's <laughs> that? <laughs> wow, this dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? <laughs> if you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Noted. No. Oh. Still there. 
And now good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. <laughs> good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd. It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. <laughs> the it came from wrong. over here somewhere. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> I think my pancreas is broken. Possibly also my spleen <laughs> and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? I think my pancreas is broken. Do you even know where your pancreas is? Judging by the pain, I'd say everywhere. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here? It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. Nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say that? Hello? Marie, <laughs> is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? Well, I didn't have the map then. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? You can do the goopy parts. Race you <laughs> to the ship! Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. I feel like we're entering a new phase in our relationship. I am trying to contain my joy. <laughs> Come on, Murray. You've got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump, maybe. Wait, not the pocket. 
And uh, with that, I think we'll leave it there for today. So we've um, made it to Monkey Island. We've been crossed, double crossed, triple crossed. And um, we're now going to go and fix our boat and get back to Maddie Island. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then please do hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. That'd be amazing. And in the meantime, I'll see you again for more Return to Monkey Island. Bye for now.